So yeah. these risks you need to avoid, and those regulatory guidelines will make sure your AI system will be appropriate for the patient use and for the regulatory compliance perspective. So that is why 21 CFR have drafted a quite nice guidelines. They have a very detailed approach for the automation. The second guideline parallelly, European also has their own guidelines called Annex 11 and GAMP, which is good automated manufacturing practices. So recently in 2022, GAMP has revised their automation guidelines that they've included extensive AI part which will talk about how automation should be risk-based, okay? How automation should be analyzed for the, their risks and how it should be tested based on the risks. For example, if I talk about the high-risk parameters, for example, this, let's take the same example of clinical trial management systems. Now, if I talk about the risk with the clinical trial, as I already mentioned, there are a lot of patient health and safety concerns when I talk about clinical trials. So if <clears throat> somewhere automation goes wrong, somewhere automation goes wrong, or somewhere there is obviously the test data, there could be a biased test data, or there could be, you can say, the unsupervised data, okay? Un uncleaned data, which will make certain decisions in a biased way. So if such kind of things happens with the AI, it will it will do a lot of harm to the patient safety. But if there is a low risk AI, for example, the AI is just capturing a result and just processing for the regulatory submission, it will make the report ready. And now it is ready for the human review. Then in that condition, you have a two factor authentication, right? Mm -hmm. So human is basically supervising AI or human can actually override the decisions of AI, right? So this is the more controlled structure in life sciences. The agentic AI, I totally agree that it will take the decisions. It will make all the processes ready for the human and there will be no human intervention. But there has to be certain control over the AI. That control is given by these regulatory authorities. Welcome to the AI Accelerator Podcast. Listen to the full episode by tapping the link in caption.